Fathers have assumed three important roles in our life. The protector, the provider, and the disciplinaria. Our guest for today played those three important roles in my life. I can say he was my protector and he was our provider whenever whatever he has, he shares it to everyone. A selfless man. Tiga, bakit di ka tanggal? Huwag ka mong Meron ka di ba? Ano man? Kanan ba? Hindi mo ako narinig pa. Eh, Fathers have assumed three important roles in our life. The protector, the provider, and the disciplinarian. Our guest for today played those three important roles in my life. He is, and he was, and will always be my protector, our provider, whatever he has, everything that he has, he shares it to everyone. A very selfless person. Everyone would agree that he is such a perfectionist and a disciplinarian. The man behind the strong foundation, INDCS. Hi, Father Albert. Good afternoon, po. Hi. Magandang hapon. So, kamusta po ang isang Father Albert? Masaya, uh, full of energy, overwhelming and optimism amidst adversity. So, Father, paano po pa yung nagsimula bilang Father Albert? O, oh, nagsimula siyempre yan sa... Karanasan ko nung ako ay elementary, may isang Jesuit missionary priest na nagsilbi sa aming bayan and one day I had an encounter with him in my childhood and he was then distributing chocolates and so I said to myself, someday I too would want to be distributing chocolates. So, doon nagsimula, doon nagsimula ang, ang kwento ng aking vocation. Kaya nung high school naman ako, may Clarician Missionary Priest na dumalaw sa aming paralan, nagbigay ng panayam, nagbigay ng application form, fill up ko yung application form, at ako'y tinawag niya, matapos tingnan yung mga grades ng mga applicants. Kaya nag-shortlist yung pare na Espanyol. Pakatapos noon, dinalo ang aking mga magulang, tapos nagbigay ng exams, sawa ng Diyos, pumasa naman. <laughs> Kaya ka lang ayon ng mother ko, gusto ng father ko na pagbigyan na lang, hayaan mo na muna siya. Kung magpapatuloy, okay lang. Kung lalabas, ayos lang din. Pero ang mother ko at that time, ayaw. Sa pag gusto niya, either engineer, o doktor ang kukunin. Pero hindi ko na na-entertain yon Kaya I joined the Clarison Seminary, minor seminary in Zamboanga. After third year and fourth year high school, I came over to Manila and I studied my college at UST. And then after college, we had novitiate one year to know, to internalize the charism, and the vows uh, being uh, practiced and proclaimed by the Clarician missionaries in the congregation of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So, after that, I pursued my theology studies at Loyola School of Theology at Ateneo de Manila University. After which, I got ordained in March 18, 1984. And after ordination, I was thrown to Basilan. So in Namitan, I was there for one full year. And after that assignment, I was transferred to the seminary sa philosophy department ng Clarician Missionaries. And I took care of the seminarians, college seminarians. At the same time, I worked in Clarita School as spiritual director and assistant to the superintendent and provincial superior 
in regard to school functions. And uh, mahaba pa katapos nun at marami ng assignment na pinagdaanan at nandito ako ngayon sa Diocese of Novaliches. What was your first school in uh, in the Cardinal, His Eminence, Jaime Cardinal Sin, assigned me to Our Lady of Lords Parish in Camarin. In, in 2000, I reported at that parish on January 1, 2000. And sometime in February, I began to work for the foundation of the school, Our Lady of Lords Catholic school and after a few months I started the school after uh, getting some loans soft loans from uh, Paris leaders at 25 pesos each and there were five of them that lent uh, 125,000 so I refurbished the existing structure and I started offering nursery, kinder, prep, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 at that time in the year 2000. And up to now, as of now, to date, our little Lord's Catholic School has two campuses and numerous students. So, yun ang school na founded ko uh, in the year 2000. But I do not claim solely the credit. I have shared that since then, up to now and beyond today, with the leaders and parishioners of Our Lady of Lords Parish for making possible the foundation of the school and the flourishing of the school up to now and beyond today. How about in an well, in the Buhay, uh, then was run or managed by Father Pajarillaga, Danny, and assisted by Mom Bridget, uh, then. So, when Bishop Tobias appointed me uh, as superintendent and director of all the schools, so in the Buhay was transferred to my management from or by Father Danny and Mom Bridget and uh, that began the putting together all the schools of the Diocese of Navaliches kasi gusto ni Bishop Tobias nung araw dapat maximum ang tulungan maximum ang sharing hindi lamang sa finances but sa personal expertise at gusto niya na isa lang ang kakausapin, hindi maraming directors. Ano? At pangatlo, gusto niya rin na kung sino ang director at sino ang uh, Paris priest ay may uh, controlled o moderated yung allowance. No? Hindi ayaw ni Bishop na kung mayroon ka ng allowance sa Paris, mayroon ka pang allowance sa school para magtipid naman. So to economize and uh, the saving would redound, would be cascaded to the improvement and development of the school. Kaya, uh, Ina ng Buhay was transferred to my management uh, properly and prudently by Father Danny Pajarillaga and Mom Bridget. Just at the beginning, I was, uh, I told Father Danny Potter, casual lang po, uh, but whenever your father talks, talaga, you will listen. Talaga, eh. He has something that is in him that you will listen. Just a trivia po, for those who doesn't know my story in RCBNDS, I was once a parent lang po of CSBN, a humble parent waiting for my son to have lunch here. Kasi dadalag po sila ng lunch, and then father saw me. Um, nung pumunta kayo dito father sa office ng CSBN and he asked me, may trabaho pa? Kung wala po, nagbabantay po ako ng anak ko. Ay, hindi ka pwede din yan. Dapat mong trabaho ka, hindi ka pwede din umaasa lang sa anak. And then, since then, when I listen to father, until now, looking back, I never regretted talaga. I did not regret 
listening to this man talaga kasi he has this vision talaga doon sa mga tao niya na alam niya kung makikinig ka lang he will really direct you into the right path kasi came the pandemic in everything uh, if not for my work father siguro talagang hindi ko na alam kung papaano pero because I listen to father nandito tayo ngayon 11 years survey na ng buhay at RCDN we have witnessed for the educational setup has been drastically affected by this world, uh, world health crisis po what were your initial reaction po? how did you how did you handle it po? Uh, the uh, situations then were quite concerning and I also understood that amidst situations of that kind, uh, we have to continue, we have to proceed, so nothing should stop. That's why I, I have this message which I communicated in the video that uh, Mom Elaine will be uh, disseminating. Uh, when that going gets tough, and difficult, we don't have to stop. On the contrary, we need to, to persevere and move forward. So adversity is there and that is a part of life. Expected or unexpected, uh, serious or mild adversities really will be coming up. So what should be the proper attitude? One of courage, one of trust, one of optimism that adversities like this pandemic can in fact make us more mature can make can in fact make us stronger can in fact make us grow in our spirituality can in fact make us grow in a building and nurturing relationships while situations then were concerning i never ran short of Optimism, as I said, as well as courage and endurance, perseverance. After all, from beginning to the end and beyond today, you know, of course, I know that I, I'm not alone. There are significant people beside me, around me, before me, and uh, many people around us and before us. And in and boys, school officials uh, and personnel are counted in. So together with the other faculty members and employees and school officials, we have managed and we have managed creatively, productively, meaningfully, and we have not lost any school. We are progressing even if the adversity, which is the pandemic, is still very much around us. Any plans for the system? going face to face yes, uh, possible now. Certainly, uh, hopefully uh, this pandemic gets transformed into pandemic which is lesser in terms of damage and danger and threat and seriousness. So uh, because of that movement, face to face classes shall be conducted in our schools also alongside online teaching and learning encounters baka blended ano? at pinag-aaralan pa namin ngayon ang modality how it will be done but we are uh, we have already begun to study and we have begun our preparations so that sometime in august We'll be able, we will be able to open the school year 2022-2023 by offering face-to-face -face classes alongside or blended with online classes. Yan ang mangyayari in August of this year. Katulad na yung sinabi ng father, we don't, uh, we don't need to stop it. We have to keep going. Our life should keep going. Talaga, hindi tayo dapat humigil dahil lamang dito sa virus na to. Father, our viewers would like to get to know you on a personal level. Katulad na yung sinasabi ko kanina. Kanina, I was uh, getting asked me na, Mom, si Father, yung ano ha, yung casual na father lang. Hindi talaga siguro naiiwasan ni Father when he talks talaga talagang 
very fast. Pwede na, cash one na to. Oh, oh, ayan, the cash one. <laughs> I have changed my position. All right. Father, bilang isang superintendent po, Max, sa president, CEAP treasurer, and a parish priest, can you take us po, Father, kung paano nagsisimula at natatapos yung isang araw at isang father outlook? Bago yung waking up, tulog mo na. <laughs> So ako yung natutunog ng 10 o'clock at ako yung nagigising o nagigising ng 5.30 o 5.15, 5.30. Yan ang aking time period of uh, reinvigorating restful sleep. So from 10 to 5.15 to 5.30 ng umaga. Kung kulang dyan, Ang pakiramdam ko ay parang ang gaan, parang ako'y lumulutang, ano? Pero pag tamang-tamang tulog kong ganyan, malalim ang aking... Pag gumabata uh, lang po kasi kailangan 8 hours. Maganda <laughs> ang pakiramdam. At so, no? saka yung pag-iisip mo, maganda rin yung pag-iisip mo. Light and joyful and then more productive kasi nakatunog ka ng mahinding at tama ang time duration. So, upon waking up, siyempre, ay dasal ng maisi, mental prayer, and kung ako ang uh, assign, ako ang magmimisa, so naghahanda na yan para 6 o'clock ang mass namin dito. Pero for now, temporarily suspended yon. Ang ginagawa lang namin yan na pang umagang misa every Wednesday at Saturday and Sunday. All other days, temporarily suspended. Kaya kung ako assign, so, yung upper waking up, preparation na talaga yun. Now, kung hindi naman ako ang assign, mental prayer lang, my say, and then I do some stretching and sa a little exercise. After which, I release the dogs. No, yeah. Yeah. We, uh, so, maraming aso dito. Uh, Iba-ibang may-ari pero ako nag-aalaga. Natutuwa naman ako sa pag-aalaga sa kanila sa mata ko'y pinapawisan. No, at saka yung, yung mga aso, distressors yan eh, no? Nagbibigay ng a source of joy and delight. Nakikita mo ang mga aso na talagang uh, energetic, running here and there, and then jumping on you. So, nakaka-relax. At nagbibigay ng additional vibrance and energy. So, after that, of course, uh, pagkatapos malaro ang mga aso, ipapasok na sila at saka naghahanda na rin para uh, breakfast and then uh, 8 o'clock, 8.15, simula ng araw. So, depende yun sa mga uh, schedules na pumapasok. Kung ano man ang pumapasok, pero lagi yung kombinasyon uh, ng mga commitments and engagements related to RCBNES and its nine schools, then uh, ITA task related to the parish, and then tasks related to MAPSA, and task related to uh, CEAP, SAYAP. Kaya yung mga yun, kombinasyon yan. Ano? Pero hindi naman ako nagpapakaibang na uh, talagang nalulunod. So one at a time. Tapos, Kano engagement dito after that before uh, embarking on to the next eh, I allow myself some uh, few or several minutes of rest and relaxation before I go to the next para may uh, some kind of closure and then some kind of opening of the incoming set of tasks so ganun lang ang ang rhythm ng Nang at cycle ng aking araw-araw. At wala nga akong day off, ano? Uh, pero hindi naman ako agod na pagod. So, basta binabudget ko lang ang oras, allowing myself certain time period in between. Kasi Sunday, busy din kami sa simbahan. Yan ang rest day ng mga teachers at personal and parents. Pero pa sa akin, Sunday, uh, busy pa rin yan. Kaya, Ang aking na, na master lang, art of engagement as well as art of disengagement. Otherwise, you will be overwhelmed. I would have been overwhelmed and I would have aged faster and uh, 
I would have been older than I am, but I am as young as, of course, not like before, but still relatively young. We have to take note of yung sinabi ni Father na this engagement and engagement, we have to learn that yung sa pang-araw-araw na ni Father, especially on online learning. Kasi dapat sa minan ni Father, kahit wala siyang day off, he knows when to engage and disengage. Yun yung dapat natin makuha na lesson yung sa sinabi ni Father. Kasi lahat naman it can be overwhelming, pero if we know how to balance everything, then we will have a healthy lifestyle at halaga. Yeah, mahalaga yung engagement and disengagement. So, relativize yung mga unfortunate uh, experiences or realities. And then, maximize yung mga positive and inspiring experiences and realities. Kasi kung you take the negative or problematic realities too hard, you just get tired. And you get bogged down. So relativize natin yan. Of course, relativizing does not mean denial na wala, they do not exist at all. They exist. You recognize that they do exist, but they do not have the final say. Ikaw pa rin may final say. At saka yung mga kabutihan, mabubuting bagay, nangingibabaw yan. Mas marami yan kung bibilangin mo, kung yahambig mo sa mga unfortunate realities ng buhay. Kaya relativize the negative and maximize the positive. This kind of art will keep you going and your sense of equilibrium and sense of balance and sense of direction will not be compromised at all. What piece of advice can you give po to all who aspire to become somebody something? Learn to do what is ordinary but with increasing quality of love and care. Do the ordinary as, as one saint says, do the ordinary in an extraordinary manner. Why extraordinary? Because you put in love, you put in generosity, you put in care and concern, not just for yourself, but for others who are working with and for whom you are working for. Yeah, tama yun. So, do the ordinary with so much love and it becomes extraordinary. Do what is rotinary with so much love and it becomes surprising and exciting. But if you do not have love at all, easily the ordinary becomes less ordinary and trivial and meaningless without value at all. And what is rotinary becomes boring. But with so much love, with so much care, with so much concern, love of God, love of people, and love of work, the ordinary and the rotinary become exciting, inspiring, and extraordinary. Happiness is an emotional state characterized by feelings of joy, satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment. Happiness is generally linked to experiencing more positive feelings than negative. So, Father, masaya po ba kayo ngayon? Ah, siyempre. Alam mo yung kaligayan, hindi mo naman matatagpuan yan eh. You create happiness for others. And then by creating happiness, moments of happiness for others, you in turn become happy. Yun. So, happy kayo ngayon, Father? Ah, siyempre. Kung niyo po happy, you cannot have come to interview me. Okay? So, if I were not happy, I would have been sick. God forbids, no? Okay? So, if I were not happy, I would not have been here. Any message po 
Well, uh, foundation celebration is always a time to remember, a time to renew, and a time to celebrate. Either it is your personal anniversary like birthday, or on the part of your parents' uh, wedding anniversary, or school anniversary, always have this in mind. It is a God-given time to recall with gratitude, to celebrate with joy, and to renew our commit commitment to welcome the future with so much love and faith in God.